Hey, what's up, guys? Airsoftman819 here again with another controller review. Uh, this has to be the most odd controller I've ever seen. Um, it's called the Mega Racer. Uh, it was made by a company called Performance, which I believe was operated by um, Interact. Um, it was a racing controller designed for the Sony PlayStation in 1998. What makes this controller so unique is the fact that it has a steering wheel built on to the controller. So you can see it right here in the picture on the box. comes in a fairly standard cardboard box. Uh, gives you some info on the back here. Fairly standard stuff. Um, there's just a little uh, instruction manual inside the box. Other than that, there's really nothing in the box other than the controller. And uh, here it is. So... Uh, this is the Mega Racer, made by Performance in 1998. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find this controller overstock, new. Um, new old stock, actually, is what I was trying to say. Um, they had a bunch of these brand new in the box that they were selling for dirt cheap, and I decided to pick one of them up. Uh, the build quality on these, the quality control isn't that great. I learned that one the hard way. Uh, the one button up here, the shoulder button, um, is dead. Like it has no click to it whatsoever. It just it's dead. Uh, the rest of them seem to work fine, but this one, you can hear it has like no click. It's just dead. Uh, it's dead. So it still works. It's just dead. Um, it says Mega Racer on the front there. Um, you have a fairly standard D-pad over here. The D-pad actually is pretty good. It worked just fine. Uh, you have the uh, standard face buttons here. Um, you have your shoulder buttons up here, um, L1 and L2 and R1 and R2. Um, you have your mode button right here. You switch between analog and digital right here. Um, you have your start and select. Uh, those all work just fine. Um, and then you get down to the weird stuff down here, which is the analog steering wheel and the two analog buttons to go along with the steering wheel. Um, the premise behind this is this is your steering wheel and this is your gas and your brake or your gas and your brake depending on which is which. Um, and it's just an analog, it's a rubberized analog wheel that you turn. It makes like this little click noise if you can't hear it. Give you guys a good look at it there. And that's basically how you drive the car. You uh, turn this analog wheel. And then you have these super uh, sensitive analog buttons. Uh, there's no membrane in there. Strictly analog, spring-loaded. Uh, they have a lot of travel. I actually really like these buttons. I did not, however, like the wheel. Uh, the wheel, for one thing, it's finicky. If you barely touch it, your car will like swerve off the road. It's sensitive in some games, and it's not sensitive in others. It just feels weird. It, it makes my finger sore after I use it for a while. It's basically just a big gimmick is what this controller is. Let me turn my webcam down just a little bit more. There we go. Um, it's just a gimmicky type of controller. And the odd thing is, uh, the same year that the DualShock controller came out was 1998. Uh, this came out that same year. So I don't know if this came before the DualShock or was trying to compete with the DualShock. Uh, but it is a strange controller. It does have dual rumble um, also. So I think it might have came out after the DualShock and was trying to be a racing controller competitor uh, to the DualShock. Obviously it failed because no one has heard of it. I literally could not find anything online about this controller. It's that weird, it's that obscure, it's that odd, and it's that much of a failure. Uh, but it's a really neat controller, especially if you're a collector of weird controllers. This definitely fits the bill as a weird controller because it is freaking weird. Uh, but it's actually kind of cool. It's fun to show your friends and be like, here you go, you want to try to play some Gran Turismo with this wheel here? It's just kind of awkward, uh, but overall it's a pretty neat controller and I thought you guys might want to take a look at it. I have another uh, couple videos planned, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos from the Airsoft Man 819 channel and I'll see you guys later.